you eat enough this kimchi and maybe you live to be my age. Where is your laundry? No, oh, I'm looking for work. I don't have any laundry. No jobs here, just uh, kimchi. You sure you don't want some? Kimchi is hot, isn't it? No, not that hot. Try. It's good. Ah, you see, it's not that hot. Uh, breath. <coughs> breath. I haven't seen you for a while. Where you been, anyway? We know each other? Uh, I guess not. My eyes not like what it used to be. But, <laughs> what the heck? You live long enough, you see everybody eventually. Uh, work, you say? Yeah, anything. Uh, the restaurant around the corner. They're looking for help. Great. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, I ginseng tea. Have some? I'll, uh, take a rain check. Thanks. I'll be here. Bye-bye. you showed me before? Sure. Believe me, you're making the right move for your business, kid. Especially with what's been going on around here. Mm, Mr. Lee's place? Oh, that too. You know what? Police started using 45s. They wanted something powerful enough to stop an automobile. This baby's the weapon to do it. It'll punch a hole right through an engine block. Go ahead. Pick it up. You'd be surprised how good it feels. Um... Maybe the other one you showed me. Ah, uh, yes. The other one. Loretta Automatic. Sleek. Elegant. 
precision tooled the Lamborghini of handguns. Almost sensuous. Uh, I'm thinking about a gun, Jerry, not a relationship. Look, I need some more time. Okay. Thanks. Sure. What do you think? Keep looking. Um, when Clifford gets in, tell him I need to talk to him. I had another complaint about the osso buco. Mm -hmm. People don't want that much fat in their diet. Well, maybe they shouldn't order meat. <laughs> Rachel, mm -hmm. can I ask you something? Mm -hmm. What exactly are you looking for? I mean, I thought Harold was a great maitre d'. Harold was fine. It's just, Linda, the maitre d' is the first person that people see when they enter. He's got to say romance. He's got to be classy, elegant, you know, masculine, but not macho. And he's got to smolder. Right. Mm. Smoldering. I'll call Chippendales. No, no, he has to be able to talk. Look, this is marketing. We need someone that women can fantasize about, even when they're with their husbands. Right. Oh, Avery is waiting for you. You let him in my office? You ever try to stop a train? Hi, Avery. It's a chanterelle mushroom. Cute, huh? It's the cutest one yet. Put it next to the gumphidias. They kind of go together. It's uh, that one right there. There. Perfect. Everyone should have a hobby. Me, I've started fly fishing. When I retire, I don't want to just sit around the house. You're retiring? Well, not today, not tomorrow, but you got to think about those things. Hey, you know, you don't just happen to live happily ever after. You've got to plan for it. <laughs> ah, just plan the week's menu to tax me up. Well, that's because you've got nothing to look forward to. Everyone should have dreams, Rachel. This is my dream. Sell this place and see the world. I can't leave this place. Tell you what, I'll hang on to your application. You should hear something in a few days. No, I think that one had class. I mean, it was sort of European. What's Rachel looking for anyway? Some guy women will fantasize about while making love to their husbands. I can understand that. You can? Because I think the girl is tripping. Well, if you met Rebs, you'd think she's right on. <laughs> Smoldering. The girl is losing it. Hi, I was told you were hiring. Yes. No. You're it. Fill this out, if you don't mind. Did you hear what uh, Mahoney got for his antique store? You have to admit, they made you a fair offer. Yeah, I never said they didn't. So is it true what they say about Mr. Lee's place? What do they say? That it wasn't a gas leak? It wasn't. The guy had a mountain of cleaning fluid stacked next to the water heater. Well, they also say that he refused to sell. Look what happened to him. <laughs> this is Portland, Rage, not Atlantic City. But you never know. In a year, you may be kicking yourself for not selling. And you'll say, why didn't I listen to Avery? He was only trying to help. And then you'll turn over to me in bed and say, honey, you were right. Avery. Hey, give us a chance. What are you going to do, wear black for the rest of your life? I am not wearing black. All I'm saying is, live a little. Avery, I am living. 
I'm just not interested in going out. And I'm not interested in selling a restaurant. Well, at least I got you a hobby. What you need now is an Amanita Verna, the destroying angel. It's a poisonous mushroom, but it's a real pretty red. Maybe just dinner? Avery. Or dancing? I'm a terrific dancer. Avery! Okay, okay. Just uh, don't wait too long. Someone might snatch me up. Okay. Oh, and uh, think about that offer, okay, Rachel? Please wait, but I'm going to see this. No, you've got to see this one. What do you think? The job's been filled. Rach! No problem. Guys like this come in every day. Excuse me! Ah! Uh, look, I think you'd be perfect for the job. I thought it was taken. No, I just couldn't make up my mind. Hey, my name's Rachel Bishop. Jack. Jack Young. Well, I think you'd be perfect, Jack, for the job, if you want it. I do. I do. Thank you. Well, then, you start tomorrow, say around 10? 10. Good. yesterday. The only holdouts are a gun shop, a frame store, and a little restaurant. And I have offers on the table. You understand the time is the issue, don't you, Mr. Baines? I can bring this in on schedule. Let me be frank. We're considering other locations, ones that are far less entangled. You bring me signed agreements showing clear title to this block by close of business Friday. Or we'll have to focus our efforts and commission elsewhere. Miss Haywood, uh, my partners have put up over 500000 in earnest money alone. Then I'm sure you'll justify their trust. Your mall will be breaking ground on Monday. We gotta talk. And um, keep in touch with the kitchen in case we get an 86. 86? Yeah, 86 out of it. No more coca van, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, oh, never see the fat guy next to the fire exit. <laughs> I'll take care of Jack now, Linda. You probably ought to take a look at the table. Already. Thought I'd better do that. Presentation and manners. The most important things in customer satisfaction. Let me show you. Jack? 
back. He'll be working with us as our new major team. This is a funny little corner table that I keep open for, I don't know, a couple of the stars in their eyes. We planned everything here. You and Linda? No. I had a partner. It was a dream. Anyway, a lot of people fall in love here. Well, I'll be very careful. <laughs> Ta-da! The heart of Columbine Bistro, my chef, Clifford. Meet our new maitre d', Jack. Jack, you start tonight. You know what you're doing? Rachel, I need some more help back here. I lost another one of my boys with all this business with the, uh, the laundry. I'll take care of it, Clifford. You don't wait for Clifford to stop talking because he never will. Rach, second. I'll be right back. Sure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, you look like Mark. Mark? Yeah. Mark's parents owned this place when it was a deli. They died. Mark got the deli. Mark met Rachel. Voila, Columbine Bistro. You're a dead ringer for the guy. Sorry, bad pun. Mark's deceased. Here's one small thing. This is a... We try to be more... Do you have a better suit? Uh, no. But I was gonna ask you if you gave me an advance, I would get one today. Oh. Well, sure. But in that case, let me help you find a nice one. I can get you such a deal. <laughs> Oh, definitely the black. Oh, that's what's different. Different? What? Oh, your hair, it looks different parted on this side. I think it looked better the other way, don't you think? Nice change. Oh, and we'll need some shoes, too. Size 11. Sir? Eleven. <laughs> no problem, you said. You're in tight with this woman. She's crazy about you. She'll sell in a week. But it's been a month. A month. I don't know what happened. I had her practically... Hey, I don't want to hear it. You said you could get the job done. Mr. Big Time Community Leader. Hey, half of the town has folded up their tents. What else do you want? The girl gone. I'm a conversation away. Look, honest, I can close this deal. I hope so. You don't have to threaten Avery. He gets the point. He doesn't want another Chinese laundry on his hands. I got a friend. A friend? That's cute. You blow this deal and he'll be your only friend.
Here we say I was daydreaming. I'll drop you at the tailor's. with some list of nutritional guidelines. Nutrition's all they want. Let them stay at home. Let them graze in a field of wheat grass. Whatever you think best, Clifford. Hello? Rachel? Are you okay? You know, the new guy hasn't even shown up yet. I'm starting to think it was a mistake to hire him, Rachel. No, no, he's perfect. Look at me. Rach, he's not perfect. And he's not Mark. Look, I know it's not easy to lose someone and the way he died. Oh, here he comes. Take him in, Sergeant. My car. I'll be out in a minute. I guess Clifford's dishes inspire a passion. No, that guy wasn't just angry about his food. He wanted to destroy your whole restaurant. Yeah, I hate to say this, Rachel, but uh, maybe you ought to think about taking that offer we discussed. Come on, Avery. You're like a broken record. Forget the law. You're supposed to serve and protect. Isn't that the way it goes? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it means there's a lot going on in this neighborhood. Are you saying I'm not doing my job? Which one? Stop it! Haven't we had enough of this for one night? I've known Avery for five years, Jack. All right, my timing was bad, I admit it. Look, I'll, uh, I'll check out the clown who did this and see if there's anything behind it. Rachel, I just don't want you to get hurt. If there is something going on, you know, I can't be everywhere at once. Did I hear him right? If you heard that the police don't know if they can protect you, you did. Great. What does Avery have to do with your selling? 
advice. Avery's been giving me advice ever since I've known him. You're gonna stick around, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be here. Good. The hell with the cops. I'm sorry. We'll be open tomorrow, though. Linda, how long have you known Avery? It's five years long enough. Look. Avery's okay. He's just got mushrooms on his brain. And Rachel. Can I say something? Yeah, say it. Look, you've got my vote. I mean, you seem like you're a nice enough guy. But? You're not good for Rachel. I think you should go. Because I look like Mark? Yes. Well, I mean, sort of. Look, it doesn't have anything to do with how you look. It's just what you do to her here. Am I making any sense? Yeah, I, I feel like she's trying to turn me into Mark. Yeah, that's all. You got it. But why? Because she's lonely. Because she wants him back. I don't know. It's because. Does it make a difference? Well, if she's going to get over it, it does. Right. And you're just the person to save her, huh? I don't know about that, but... It's worth a shot. Why? Because she's worth it. And you voted for me. You did this, didn't you? We all did. You didn't have to. I mean, no one's supposed to be here until... Will you zip it, honey? We've got work to do. <laughs> thank you. I mean, thank you. Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jeez, I heard, but nobody told me I looked like Ground Zero. You should have seen that last night. Is mine in the store? Nobody. I sold it. Jerry. I closed the deal this morning. Guy Elder sold too. Guy sold? Yep. Well, who's left? Just you. Rachel's the last one? Yep. Better get while the getting's good. Got any champagne? I am to start the day right. Jack, Jerry would like some champagne. Yeah, the best. Oh, uh, Rachel, uh, a little present for the little lady. I hope you don't mind, but I decided for you. Yeah, uh, probably not a good idea in here, kid. Where's that champagne? Are you coming in? Depends on which way you're going to point that thing. It's not the answer. Guns give you a false sense of confidence you haven't earned. I have earned this restaurant. I've dedicated my life to it. And Mark? Yes, Mark's. So? Sometimes the past is a trap. I remind you of Mark, don't I? Of all the gin joints in all the world, you had to walk into mine. Excuse me? <laughs> it's a line from an old movie. What happened? He died. You want to tell me about him? Why? Because you need to tell someone. Because I want to know. I think this is the most beautiful place in the world. This is beautiful. 
Mark and I used to come here all the time. We'd steal an hour and run for the coast and just stand here. One day we were here and it was gorgeous. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it was like summer rain. And we just stood in it. <laughs> Mark was laughing and I was laughing. <laughs> towards the car. We ran all the way down the hill holding hands through the road. Rachel? We saw the car coming. Huh? We were running too fast. Uh, Mark! One woman. One more day. Do what you have to. No! I want to put a crew together. No. Not again. Not in my city. What do you mean, your city? Will you listen to this guy? My city. Hey, you do that and you are way beyond any help that I can give you. Oh, I hope not, Avery. I sincerely hope not. Because if that's true, then Portland's going to see what a dirty cop looks like. You told me this wouldn't get heavy. You told me. Sip. talk to all of you. I think that last night's um, disturbance was planned. Anyway, I'm afraid something might happen again, and I can't ask you to stay. In fact, I'd feel better if you didn't. Rachel, I certainly hope you're not going to embarrass us all by drawing a line on the floor and asking us to step over it. Well, no, Clifford. I hadn't actually thought of drawing a line. Enough, then. We've got work to do. Thank you for being here. I couldn't do it without you. Baby said you were punctual. I like my work. Good. Let's go.
like we made it. For tonight, anyway. What happened to the lights? Who are these guys? Hey, 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 Don't kid yourself, Avery. You're going down. Get him in the car! I hear some great life for a cop behind bars. He's dirty, you hear me? He's dirty! He made all the deals to our money. He's dirty! You're in this, aren't you? No. How did you know to come? The phones are dead. I was worried after what happened last night. No, you're I was part of this! Dark stuff gone. Oh, Linda, plants, greenery. Write that down for me. Oh, Jack. Wait, wait one minute. Uh, you know you're welcome to stay. I can't explain. Thanks, but I gotta go. Do that thing with your hair. What? It, you know, with your hand. Hmm. I guess when you've been in the dark as long as I have, it takes your eyes a little time to adjust to the light. I think you've been reading too many fortune cookies. <laughs> well, you sure look good in black. Take care, Jack. You too. So, I think, did you get the peach and green thing now? And 
After years of confinement in his dark cell, the prisoner was finally released once more. Soon his eyes adjusted to the light of day and he saw again all the beauty that had been taken away.